Welcome to Third Eye Visions. It's getting kind of cold out there, y'all. I'm telling you, this is the time to break out the hood. But I love it. I'm telling you. But anyway, if this is your first time, make sure to hit that like button. Make sure to hit that notification bell. Make sure to hit that bell that allows you to get all the updates every time a brother posts. You're going to get it. You understand me? So with that being said, we're going to have a little fun today. Uh, I'm going to talk about alphabets in the hood or hood alphabets. From A to Z, I've associated words with each letter. And some of them may offend people, then some of them may cause you to think. And there may be other words that may cause you to get up off your ass and handle your business if you don't want to be in this classification. So, with that being said, let's start off with the letter A. A is for Alexis. In the hood, there's always two, three people whose name Alexis. B is for bitch. That seems to be in the term of endearment for most females in the hood. C is for crack. Mm. D is for dope boy. E is for entertainer. Which everybody wants to be an entertainer. Either a rapper, a singer, uh, any type of sports personality. That's what they want to be. Never hear about them. want to be a lawyer, a doctor, or someone that's going to help individuals, engineer, play, things like that. F is for floss. You know, in the hood, there's always some people that want to floss. The first thing they get, they want to, man, let me ride, let me ride through the south. Let me ride through the north. Let me ride through the west side. Floss, show my, my nice ride that I got. G is for gamble. Always in the hood, there's always a gambling spot, whether they want to play spades, dominoes, or uh, shake them up, shake them up. You know what I'm talking about. Dice. Uh, H is for hoe, which also... Is a, is a word that's used amongst females and it's also used uh, by males who classify loose women in the hood. I is, for, I, was, I is for insurance. Now, you know, there are few people in the hood who are always driving around and if they get into the wreck, to a wreck or something like that, the first thing they wanna holler, man, I ain't got no insurance. Or them be the ones that ride without no insurance, ride all day, all night, all year. Never get pulled over, but somebody who has insurance, whose uh, who's, who's insurance is up, they always get pulled over. So why is that? Anyway, J is for Jordans, and you know how that how it is. Any type of Jordans that come out, man, somebody in the hood got to have that fresh pair of Jordans. K is for kicks. That's just a new word for shoes. Man, I got some new kicks, man. It may be a little old, but that's what I used to hear. L is for licks. Now they got play. Man, I got this play I want you to hear. But usually back in the day when I was coming up, it's a lick, man. I got the lick, man. What's coming on me on this lick, man? You can make some money, man. I'm telling you, I got you, man. Whoop, whoop. M is for murder. Murder. And there's a lot of that going on in the hood or associated with the hood. N is for the N word. And you know what that is. Need I say more? Opportunity. O, which seems to be the reason why some people feel that they can't get out the hood. There's no opportunity for me. So it's just going to stay here forever and ever, ever and ever, ever. <laughs> P is for packing. That's the first thing come out of these females' mouths when it comes to these guys. Girl, is he packing? Q is for quiet. And that's never that, especially in the hood when I grew up. It was never quiet. You always hear sirens, people running around uh, outside, little kids playing, um, music blasting, gunshots nowadays, uh, cars running up and down the streets. Always for respect, which is what a lot of these youngsters do not have for these OGs, uh, these uh, older females, older males. Uh, they don't have respect for them. S is for settling. A lot of people who feel that there are no, which brings me back to the word opportunities, they tend to want to settle. Man, I'm good. I'm good, man. I'm, I'm all right. Uh, T is for trick. Now, almost in every hood, there's a couple of females, maybe one or two, who are willing, ready to turn a few tricks for a dollar. Don't even try to don't 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 stunt like it ain't happening in your your hood. You is for unmarked. There's always some unmarked police cars riding around in the hood. But well, people in the hood, they can pick them up, man. They got an unmarked car. That's, that's, man, that's, 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 man, that's, that's them people right there, man. 
Now you can tell what cars they're driving in, the unmarked cars. B is for violence. Of course, there's a lot of violence, a lot of fights, a lot of action going on in the hood, always in the hood. W is for willing. Man, a lot of individuals are not willing to take the extra step to get out the hood. They feel that the hood is all we got. That's all I know. So I'm, I'm good with that. I'm down for the hood at any cost. X is for X-ray. You know when people in the hood get a little uh, something going on with them, man, and you know it's a serious, and you be like, man, won't you go to the doctor see what's wrong, man? I don't, I don't want to x-ray. They rather just live with what they have and not even know what it is that they do have. That's real talk. Why is for YouTube, a lot of you, and I should have said this back in, on, when, when I was talking about the letter E, but a lot of individuals now, they want to put things on YouTube, anything they do, it's going on YouTube, or they want to be a YouTuber. And Z is for zesty. That seems to be the new word now. When a, when a male has, I guess, what they continue, uh, uh, a lot of people say as female tendencies or look a certain way that like that females do do things that females do. They say he looks zesty. So I'm glad that you enjoyed this hood alphabets. These hood alphabets. Or alphabets in the hood. I'm glad that you enjoyed them though. So next time you uh, uh, hear one of these words, you can associate. Man, Aunt was telling the truth about this. So again, thanks for subscribing to uh, Third Eye Visions, where we motivate the blind, stimulate your mind, and welcome all kind. I'm out.